Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, it's going to be hard for me to look at the camera because the camera's up here and I'm trying to capture everything. And this is where I also work out of. But I'm putting these videos up for you guys. So what I'm trying to do is instead of you working on these papers by yourself, and because we're not meeting in a classroom, it makes it really difficult for me to um, get you guys kind of focused on what you're working on. Because I know that online classes tend to have um, a lot of difficulties with students submitting the work on time, especially if you guys have internships. So what I'm going to do is work along with you guys at the same pace on the project. So uh, we'll have a video every week that you can basically refer to to work on what you're doing. Now, I'm asking you guys to do an introductory um, essay. All right, so an introductory essay is going to give us a little bit of feedback or background on the project that you're deciding to work on. Now, a lot of you guys are in internships, and those internships are at different retail places. Some of you guys are going to have to work on a product segment, which is a completely different thing than those of you who are going to be working on marketing. And some of you guys are going to be in e-commerce. So you're basically in these kind of three segments, right? Um, when we look at the traditional essay setups for any type of essay, you have uh, exemplification, cl classification and division, uh, cause and effect, uh, persuasive, argumentative essays. All of these different essay formats help you to create the paper that you're working on. So you guys want to do an introduction to either a product marketing e-commerce or merchandising now you're going to have to go out and probably uh, get books that will help support your idea or your thesis statement but what happens in an introduction is we need to go directly to our five questions right or our five W's and a one H who what when where why and how. Now, I know that's cricket, but I'm writing at an angle. I'm trying to make sure you guys get to see everything. So we have our questions here. And when we get to these questions, they basically become the foundation for whatever essay that we're working on. So for my essay, and you guys can do the exact same thing for your essays, right? Excuse me. And I'll be stopping and drinking because, eh, anyway. Um, for my essay, I'm going to choose a company that I'm going to work on, right? And um, I'm going to write this paper as if I'm going to submit it to this company to tell them, hey, this is how you enter, a, enter into a new segment. So I'll be working on this paper throughout the semester at the same time that you guys are working on your paper, and you can kind of mimic what I'm doing so you can build out your essay. So what we have to do is come up with basically brainstorming. I'm not looking at the merchandising side of something, so I'm not choosing the product. So this is going to be a little bit difficult for you guys that are choosing the product. You may be choosing a shirt or something like that. And it just, you know, it just depends on what you're working on. What I'm working on is introducing a new segment to uh, introducing a new line, product line, to a new segment of consumers. So, I know that I'm introducing a new, it's not even a new product, I'm introducing a company to a new segment. Now that's sloppy and I know that's sloppy, right, but I'm introducing a new company to a new segment. It's not a new company. I keep saying it and I apologize. So I'll be stammering a little bit as I go through this. If we were in a class, you guys could stop and ask questions and prevent it. I'm going to have to formulate questions in my head while I'm talking to you right now. All right. So the company that I'm going to work on is Merrill. All right. So the company I'm working on is Merrill Footwear. Now, I have to start asking myself questions because you have to brainstorm before you can build out your paper. 
and the brainstorming session gives you a lot of different information that will help you to set up your outline. So we know that we're going to ask our three, uh, five, you know, W's and an H. We're going to ask our questions once we get to the point where we can ask those questions. But the first thing we're going to have to do is answer, ask the questions or brainstorm. And I'm going to, I have to ask, what is Meryl? All right. So that's my first question under my brainstorm. My second one is, um, who are their products made for, right? You don't typically want to end with four, but I'm asking that question. Who is their customer, right? And then I'm going to continue to ask questions. Um, for what is their most popular product, right? And then I'm coming back and I'll do what segment am I attempting to reach. Now, I ask, I continue, I ask all of these questions, and I'm going to keep asking questions, asking questions. The more questions that I have, the easier it is to create topic sentences, to create a thesis statement, um, because you have two assignments in one. You have the one-page essay or one to two-page essay, which is five paragraphs, basically a three-five structure. And you also have a paragraph that's going to be considered your thesis statement or your thesis paragraph. Um, what I like to do for a lot of students is give you the easiest way to write a thesis statement, which is basically the three topics inside of a sentence. But it's to do this. In this paper, and these are the few times you cannot use first person in the paper. You're going to be writing only where it there's going to be segments where I will allow you to use first person in the paper specifically if you're doing research um, or you're doing a Q&A with somebody for research for your product right but I'm using in this paper you're going to pull that out the only reason I'm using it right now is so we know exactly what this paper is going to be about right so in this paper I'm going to discuss how and why Merrill should be looking at the African American segment for growth. All right. So I have this long question over here and I know it's crooked and it's hard to see, but by creating this question in this paper or this statement, which I put a question mark at the end, in this paper I'm going to discuss how and why Merrill should be looking at the African American segment for growth. If I go directly and strike out in this paper, and I get rid of the first person I'm going to discuss and then I'm remove the question I now have a direct statement of intent this is what I'm going to address in the paper Merrill should be looking at the african-american segment for growth now as an introductory paper you will not get into the meat of the paper which is this part of it you won't get into that aspect of it but I don't know what Merrill is. When you write a paper, you write the paper as if that brand doesn't even know who they are. You're going to introduce this brand. You're going to give facts. You're going to be descriptive. You're going to be creative. And you're going to make it sound like that company is the best company in the world. So 
when I come back and I start looking at all these questions that I have, what is Merrill? Who are the products made for? Who is their customer? What is their um, most popular product? Um, what segment am I attempting to reach? This question is one of the only ones that I don't think I'm going to end up using for my three to five paragraph paper that I'm getting ready to work on. But this is long, it's 10 minutes, and it's the first video that I'm doing for you guys. I'm going to save this and I'm going to upload it. So, and I'll link to it and you won't have to watch this at the end of it, of course. We're going to start building from here. And every week I'll do one of these videos for the paper segment that you're working on. And I also write a paper myself, which puts a lot of stress on me because I'm also shipping a lot of shoes every day and I'm working on the website every day. So don't hold me to that. I may just do this and build it to help you guys out instead of attempting to write my own paper that I can sell to this company since Merrill's going to be coming to town in October anyway. So I'll get to sit down and talk with them in October anyway. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of this first lesson. Now, I don't know. If, I don't even know what to call it. I think I'll put it up as UT Austin, but I'll make it unlisted because I don't want everybody to be able to look at it. This is just for us. You guys have questions, email me. I really want to read these introductions because some of your companies, I don't know what they are, although I did all of that research and looked it up. I want you guys to explain to me what those companies are, what they're going to attempt to do. The introduction should be um, interesting. It should pull me in. And then the rest of the content should, you know, sync up and give me a complete introductory paper to your potential topic, your subject, your product, your segment, your merchandising, your marketing. That's it. I'm going to try and do these every Sunday. See you guys on the next one, which is what I usually say for my YouTube channel, but I'm just saying it now. Bye, y'all.